In this video, we're going to unravel the mystery of the mechanical advantage of the trucker's hitch. This has been the subject of much debate and speculation, with people claiming everything from no advantage to a 4 to 1 advantage. We're going to show you exactly how to derive the theoretical mechanical advantage, and we'll even back up our findings with some experiments. We'll also look at similar mechanical advantage systems to help understand how the most popular wrong answer to this question might have become so widespread. In a recent short, we asked, what is the theoretical mechanical advantage of a trucker's hitch? Theoretical being an important word here, meaning we're assuming that the hitch is made of ideal pulleys, or in other words, ignoring the losses due to friction. All machines in the real world lose some energy due to friction, which gets dissipated as heat. So think of this theoretical mechanical advantage as a strict upper bound that can be approached by using better pulleys and lower friction rope, but never reached. In our quiz, we gave the options of no mechanical advantage, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and 4 to 1. The responses spanned the range of options from 2 to 1 to 4 to 1, and on previous videos I've seen people claim that there's no mechanical advantage in this system at all. So first of all, what is the correct answer? To find out, let's take a look at the forces involved in the trucker's hitch. Again, this model assumes the pulleys in the hitch are frictionless. It also assumes that these lines are parallel. In practice, they might be at slight angles, further reducing the mechanical advantage. With those assumptions in mind, let's move on to the force analysis. Suppose we apply a force F as tension on the working end as we normally would when tightening a trucker's hitch. The tension on the rope on either side of an ideal pulley is always equal, and since these lines are assumed to be parallel, the opposing force on the pulley itself is the sum of these two tension forces. So the force is 2F in this direction. If we repeat this analysis on the next pulley and through the rest of the system, we find that the total force on the standing end of the line is 3F, meaning we get three times the amount of force on the standing end relative to what we put in. So we have a theoretical 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. And this is the answer we've been looking for. Still unconvinced? Let's take some measurements. I've set up a trucker's hitch here with a carabiner attached to the pulley to help lower the friction. Since we're trading rope length for force to gain mechanical advantage, we can use the difference in movement between the working and standing ends when we pull on the working end. I'm marking points on the standing and working ends with painter's tape to help observe how much each end moves. For a 3 to 1 advantage, we'd expect the standing end to move by 1 inch when we pull the working end 3 inches. And that's almost exactly what happens in this setup. Pulling the working end 6 inches leads to about 2 inches in movement on the standing end. The same is true even when I remove the carabiner. 3 inches on the working end results in 1 inch on the standing end. This isn't a highly precise experiment, but hopefully it's a convincing enough demonstration of the near 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. So why is it so common to think the advantage is 2 to 1? My theory is that it stems from what people know about mechanical advantage in other similar systems like a block and tackle, or a winch with a snatch block. In a block and tackle with two pulleys and the rope secured to the top pulley, the mechanical advantage is 2 to 1. The force at the ceiling is 3F, and we can lift a load twice as heavy as the force we put in. This might look similar to a trucker's hitch setup, but it's not quite the same. A key difference lies in the fact that the pulley is connected to the rope itself in the trucker's hitch. Another similar system I've seen referenced in this debate is a winch with a snatch block. This is a common configuration for the recovery of an off-road vehicle. The winch pulls in line with force F and the snatch block pulley provides a mechanical advantage of 2 to 1 effectively cutting in half the force required of the winch. This setup might also resemble a trucker's hitch at first glance, but don't forget that the tree is acting as a pulley in the trucker's hitch, meaning the trucker's hitch has two pulleys instead of one. So there you have it, the answer to the question that has puzzled many. The mechanical advantage of a trucker's hitch is 3 to 1, and when possible, it's best to back up your findings with experimental results. If you found this video informative, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on knots and enjoying the outdoors. Until next time.